The director eye is always sending the clearest information according to your brain. But he compares. He developed a habit in childhood about this. That is, he sees the image coming from the left and right. Then he thinks the left is always better. The right eye is not a good drawer. He deletes the right image. Then the brain sees only one image. So otherwise, someone who has lifelong double vision, which we call diplopia, knows that the information from the left eye arrives, the information from the right eye. Well, it no longer has the natural suppression mechanism. So then the person sees double. A fly has a serious problem. It sees with quite a few holes. But it's still interesting. And that's why we can't re-educate someone who has strabismus or amblyopia in both eyes at the same time, because if we don't know, not if the suppression mechanism doesn't exist, we can give eye exercises to a person, and then the person starts reactivating this visual pathway. Then all of a sudden, the brain is never ready to suppress an image, and then we create double vision for the person. So there you have it. So if you know someone who has, that's why people started to put patches on children, and that's it. It's really not the best way to re-educate the eyes, but it's the way that there's potentially the least risk of creating double vision. There are some good things about it. It's less risky. Medicine will always choose what has the least risk when it's therapies like this in neurology.